Was Kim Kardashian trending for giving away a movie ending? Why are Marvel movie geeks mad at the celeb with massive cheeks? <laughs> Kim Kardashian, or as she's known in my house, Kim Kardashian, <laughs> is getting dragged online for posting spoilers for the new Spider-Man movie, No Way Home. Now, okay, spoiler alert, I'm about to tell you what she shared. So it's your chance to change the channel if you don't want to hear anymore about a young man swinging around town, spraying secretions everywhere. <laughs> and I don't mean Pete Davidson. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> All right, a few more seconds. Okay, it's enough. If you're old enough. If you're also, if you're old enough to be up this late, you are too old for Spider-Man anyway, okay? According to the New York Post, which is owned by our parent company, Lane Bryant, Kim shared some screenshots of the film from her private theater on her Instagram story. The picture has revealed that Tobey Maguire and Andrew Garfield are in the movie, and I don't know why that matters, because I'm an adult. <laughs> but some dudes who work for the show told me that it does matter, and that conversation was also the closest any of them have ever been to a girl. So there you go. <laughs> All right, so Kim, she later deleted the photos, but it was too late. People were furious. Tweeted one person, I thought the Spider-Man ending would get ruined from a lot of places on social media for me, but never in at Kim Kardashian's Insta stories. Nothing says privilege like getting a movie in your own private theater and spoiling it for those of us who are trying to stay home and safe. Sounds like someone's just pissed they don't have a private theater. But <laughs> since it's all spoiled at this point, let's just watch the end of the movie now. Ooh. Everyone likes the physical humor. I think he got hurt. Get it. I love it. That well, was funny. He got so hurt. speaking of pe things people like, Dr. Drew, yeah. as a doctor, uh -oh. do you not agree in your professional doctor's opinion that there is something deeply wrong with grown men who like superhero movies? Yes. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Yes, I'm with you on that. Um, okay. And I notice you're not married to one. No, yeah, I would I, never. And, but I'm surprised you're speaking to a few here. Well, I had to for work. I'm also surprised how much of a slow news day this was that we had to talk about this. I thought for sure this one would change by the I time I wanted we... to publicly shame these men. Oh, well, look, man, we have enough trouble already as men. We, we don't, we, <laughs> oh, we do. Get this we, man out of here. We do, we, we do especially when we're younger. We, we, we don't know from where we uh, hearken very well. And it's, we get preoccupied with all kinds of things, sports, Spider-Man. It's just the way our brain works. But it should be gone by the time you're an older adult. Yeah, absolutely. Yeah, yes. yeah, I agree. I know you're disgusted. You're disgusted. I, it does kind of make me sick, Charlie. Yes. Uh, but, you know, why don't these people just watch it in their own private theaters at home? <laughs> exactly. Uh, yeah, I, I, I have nothing to offer on that. <laughs> I, I, I thought Spider-Man came out like 50 years ago, and uh, I didn't see it then, and so I'm not going to see it now. But I did think, I did think this was interesting. I read that um, this is the highest grossing movie <laughs> Uh, in a box office, which means like people went to the movie theater, and it it it, it made over a billion dollars, and so and that's I've actually heard it's a good movie. Oh, it's I've not actually, true. That's no, not I've heard true. that. Emily? Aside from the, the Marvel, <laughs> Emily, part. but it's a it's a step in the right direction toward what? Em to get away from COVID, <laughs> Emily. No, meaning we're together in theater. The theater. Who? Is Tobey Maguire? <laughs> <laughs> oh, <clears throat> I'll tell you offline. <laughs> He's actually older than you think. So I'll say this, though, about the movie. First of all, I feel like everybody's a captive audience. Like, the reason it broke records is because what else is there right. out right Drinking. now? Drinking. In theaters. In theaters. Exactly. To your point. In theaters. You know like you can do that in theaters now, Kat. You can oh. always cut. Well. <laughs> um, if you brought a flask. Yeah. That was her way. Exactly. And I feel like for Kim Kardashian... Isn't it the Spider-Man quote, um, to whom much is given, much is required? And so I feel like for someone like her, <laughs> who knows that every day there's like 300 billion people that are looking at her Insta stories, she better know better. For example, when I saw online a start of a Yellowstone spoiler, I lost my damn mind and I literally didn't right. go on the internet for like five years. Is that from the Bible? I think it's from Ecclesiastes. Is it from the Bible? Yeah. Someone's saying that in my ear. I would never know that, by the way. <laughs> it was also in the Spider-Man movie. Remember? 
But I'm now applied to Kim Kardashian. That's amazing. <laughs> David, anything you have to say about Spider-Man, Kim Kardashian, or apparently Ecclesiastes? I was right. Ooh, it's a lot of topics. Take your there. Pick. Wait in. Well, yeah, no, I agree. I don't get Spider-Man. I used to. As a child. Oh, yeah. So they say good. kids grow it's up too worst. fast, you know. And then meanwhile, you got these 40-year-old men running around dressed as Pikachu. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know what's going on anymore, but you know, I, I, I'm glad I it didn't get, she didn't spoil it for me. I actually saw the movie with, at Kim's theater, you know, <laughs> my friend of the family. So I, I, I didn't notice this until later, until you showed me the story. Yeah. I can see why people would get upset, you know. Can really, because I'm hoping that some people will just change the channel and see the spoiler because of me. <laughs> Roll up! <laughs> All right, up next. <laughs> Do you rant to your plant or snub your shrub? What does it take to be the nation's number one cancer center? It takes an unwavering commitment My last chemo. to ending cancer. What will we do in the pursuit of making cancer history? Whatever it takes. If they can do this much in 15 seconds, Imagine what they can do in a day. The powerful, reliable Kubota landscaping lineup. Jorgensen Ford is ahora Feldman Ford. Ubicado in Detroit. En la esquina de Michigan Avenue, Ilonio. En venta miles de vehículos nuevos y de uso. Todos baritísimos. Se busca un carro, camioneta o SUV. Compre el Ford que desee al precio que le guste. Con nuestro personal que habla español aquí en Feldman Ford. Con el orgullo de Ford en FeldmanFordDetroit.com. It's not rare to hold a conversation with a potted rhododendron. <laughs> That was good, I think. A new survey by the British plant website, The Joy of Plants, discovered that 44% of adults admit to talking to their potted pals, and four in 10 people even ask their ficus friends if they're thirsty before watering them. The poll also found that 60% of people admitted to having two-way conversations with their pets, which to me seems like too small of a number. Yeah. <laughs> this was my goat, who's also named Greg, earlier today after I told him I had to go to work. <laughs> now nah, I have a goat. That would be ridiculous. <laughs> but I do talk with my cat all the time. Drew, you've seen me do it. I and have seen it's you very do it. fulfilling, although we disagree. He's like far more like pro Trump than I am, but I'm like a little more libertarian. <laughs> but it's normal. Yeah, and he's a yeah, I, I saw him you carried him with you down the aisle at your wedding. Of course I did. Because that's, that's, that's not hyperbole. That is actually what happened. <laughs> well, because <laughs> he was with me way before my husband my husband was seeing other girls and the cat was with me. I hadn't met him yet, doesn't matter, still can hold it against him. David, you talk to your razors. <laughs> <laughs> Well, thank you. I appreciate it. Oh, what? <laughs> what segment are we on here? I think he does talk to his razors, Emily. Oh, talk to my razors? Yeah. America's largest. <laughs> number one. America's number one. <laughs> U.S. made in America. Nailing it. In Aren't you also the spokesman? I'm the owner. I'm a co-owner. I have a, a co-owner of another guy. But yet, you know what? It's, it's a great company. And yet, you know, we don't... <laughs> All right, Emily, start talking. <laughs> okay, so for sure, I talk to all animals. Absolutely. I talk to my dog all the time. For sure, for sure. Um, but also, you guys, even more importantly than the, the percentage of people who talk to their plants, is that plants respond. And there was another study where plants showed... No, I'm serious. There, where there are studies showed, like this. Yes, where yes. people walking up with scissors to shear them, the plants would be frightened and they would quake and that the ones that would be talked to soothingly and encouragingly would grow. So for example, when I planted in front of my house two trees and they were equal and then one was like half the size of the other, then every day when I would walk across from getting out of the car, I would say, I believe in you, buddy, you got this. You got this, you can grow. Charlie, do you do this also? No, this is disturbing. Well, uh, no, it's I, for God's sake. No, I, it's real, they're all I, living organisms. I think anybody who doesn't talk to their animals is probably unhinged. Yes. Um, but I do think, I, I also think th th there's a scale though. If you're talking to your goldfish, you have real problems. But as, as animals get bigger, it makes more and more sense to the point where, you know, if you have, if you have pigs and you talk to your pigs, that's perfectly reasonable. Pigs are very conversant mm -hmm. and they talk back. They do talk back. 
You know, in what language? Pig, pig language. Pig, pig, but if pig you, language. but but literally, if you drive by them on a on a lawnmower, they will begin rollicking and snorting okay. back because it's like that. That's their language. I will make sure that I check that out next time I'm rollicking <laughs> <laughs> on my lawnmower. Come on down with Any, my pig. Oh, I, am I invited? Yeah, anytime. Any, awesome. Bring bring your cat at at your cat's peril. Ah, uh, awesome. Aww. All right. Well, don't go away because we've got some skit outtakes next. 